So, you want to survive your high school experience. <clears throat> Good luck. <laughs> well, that's kind of a dick move, but it is survivable. If you follow these relatively simple steps, even you can survive the high school experience. So, first step, know the pecking order. The pecking order is relatively straightforward and simple, I promise you. So the pecking order generally goes like this. It's going to go seniors, principal, faculty, juniors, sophomores, janitors, dirt, the worms in the dirt, the biodegradable mass in your chemistry lab and biology lab, and then the freshmen. I'm sorry, it sucks to be a freshman, you're at the bottom of the totem pole. Step two in surviving. Freshmen, do not complain about how it sucks. The juniors, sophomores, and seniors all had to go through that just like you. You're at the bottom of the totem pole, they were at one point too. So if they're making you do extra stuff for them, just don't complain, suffer and get through it. Next year's freshman, fair game for you. The next step in surviving your high school experience is for the love of a god, join a club. I'm not saying you have to go out for sports, although it's recommended, not required, join a club. There's tons of great clubs out there, I promise you, unless you're one of those really, really poor schools, in which case I'm sorry, but you're going to have to join basketball. Next step in surviving, do not mess with the band. You do not know what they're capable of. Do not, do not give them an excuse. Believe me, I speak from experience. And the next step in surviving your high school experience is listen to your teachers. They're there to help you. Kind of. They are kind of there to help you. I promise. Some of them, some teachers I will admit, some teachers suck. I'm not even going to deny it. I'm not even going to defend those teachers, but the majority of them are here to help. They're getting paid to help you. Unless they're with a union, in which case, good luck. The next step in what I recommend for surviving your high school experience is don't be that one guy who sits alone at the lunch table. You're not cool. Nobody's going to come and just befriend you. You're not cool because you're sitting alone. I hate to tell you, you're kind of a loser. Make some friends. You cannot get through high school just by being a loner. You're going to have to make a friend sooner or later. Make at least one friend, and I promise you can get through it. Unless that friend is a druggie, in which case you're kind of screwed. Sorry. That's just how it rolls. The next step. Do not give the principal an excuse. Do not. Just stay out of trouble. Don't do anything illegal. I know drinking is a very, very fun thing to do these days, but do not do it. Do not drink until you're 21. You've got bigger things to worry about. You're in high school now. It sucks. You're probably a freshman. It sucks even more. Just don't drink. Stay out of trouble. Don't drink. Do, don't do anything illegal. If you are going to have to do anything illegal, I don't condone it, but don't get caught. That's actually good advice. If you're going to do anything illegal, do not get caught. Alrighty. Next step I recommend. For the love of God, please, this step recommended, although not necessary, learn an instrument. Trust me, the stress reliever is great. And you feel really good after you learn a song. I learned how to play an instrument. And learn I use in the loosest definition of the word. Also, Surviving high school, another fantastic step is find that one teacher that you get along with, like you mesh really well together, and take as many classes with that teacher as you possibly can. You will not fail. No, that teacher will not fail you in good faith. Which brings me to my next pet. Brings me to my next step. I'm not saying you have to spend countless hours studying your ass off, but make an attempt. I promise you, you make an attempt. You might have this you might have a chance no teacher no teacher can fail you in good faith if you at least make a valid attempt to at least pass your classes those people that don't show up that show up the first day of school unprepared never do their assignments those are the people that are going to fail and then they're going to complain and bitch about it until the cows come home as to why they failed because it's never their fault the next step in the next step in surviving high school is do not complain just don't complain it, complaining is not going to do anything. If anything, people will be less eager to assist you if you start complaining. Be nice, be respectful, and I guarantee you, you'll have a much easier time. Now, you guys can do this, I promise. You guys can make it through high school. I made it through high school. If I can make it through high school, anybody can make it through high school. Of course, 
I had a pretty easy time at it. I was an a decent student, stayed off the radar, joined football, learned to play an instrument my senior year. I joined tech crew. I was honorary band. But you guys can make it through high school, I promise. It sucks now, but it gets better. Freshmen, it sucks. Sophomores, it sucks slightly less. Juniors, it, it sucks even less. Seniors, let's be honest. Seniors, you haven't cared since you showed up in school. I recommend seniors care. Pretend to care. Something along those lines. You guys, you can do it. But only if you put forth the effort. So guys, follow those steps. Stay out of trouble. I guarantee you, you will have a phenomenal high school experience. But until next time, guys, be seeing ya.